Today's video is all about one of the most crucial aspects of bringing a canine into your home, the costs. Buying and providing for a large dog like the Great Dane can be more than a first time breed owner expects. We're going to be looking at what kind of funds it takes to get and then maintain the unmistakable Dane for their whole life. Welcome back to the Great Dane channel. If this is your first time here, my name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Great Dane. Then how to become high level canine leaders that can raise the perfect Great Dane. So if you're a lifelong lover thinking about getting one or just started your journey with your new Great Dane, then this is the channel for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future Great Dane video. So let's dive into today's video and we'll take a closer look at what it really costs to own this magnificent breed. The first thing most people think about when getting a dog as large as a Great Dane is what it costs to feed them. And rightly so. They can weigh up to 175 pounds and burn through quite a bit of energy for being such a gentle breed. They're prone to most of the issues of large dogs, including bloat and joint issues, increasing the cost to have them. They do have a shorter lifespan and can be plagued by diseases like cancer, so insurance is highly recommended for this breed. Let's dive right in and get into the upfront costs. First, you'll need to find and buy your new Great Dane, and the cost can be anywhere from $100 to $300 adoption fee from a rescue, or an average $900 to $2,500 from a breeder. Obviously, when it comes to a breeder, you'll want to do plenty of research. And you'll pay more if you're looking for a Great Dane with a top-notch pedigree. Next, you'll need all the basic tools and materials that go along with caring for your new canine companion. Being such a large canine means that beds, crates and collars can be more expensive and harder to find. You'll want to buy a decent bed for your puppy and you'll ideally want something tough to chew up and easy to wash. You'll spend around $50 to $75 for a good quality bed, but probably need a larger one once they're grown. Hey guys, very quickly, I just wanted to ask, are you following us over on Instagram? If you're not, there's two accounts I would love for you to check out. The first one is our brand account, at Femria Canine Leaders, where you can see more about our industry-leading products that we create. If you're interested in following me personally, that's at I am Will Atherton, where you can see behind the scenes of me working with some of the most extreme behaviour cases in the world and what it takes to run these kind of YouTube channels. And maybe if you just want to be able to come over and chat with me, that's the place for you. So there'll be links down in the description box for both of our Instagram pages. I'd love for you to come and check them out and hopefully we'll chat over there. You absolutely must have a collar and a lead that fits them as they grow. So you'll likely need a puppy size and an adult size. Expect to pay around $135 for a good adult collar and lead so that it'll fit them through their teenage years. You'll want to get bowls that can be easily cleaned for both food and water. Your food bowls will depend on if you're feeding a dry dog food or a raw food diet. Some Aussies will eat their dry food at lightning speed while others can take it one piece of kibble at a time. So you may need to invest in a slow feeder bowl which usually costs around $20. For standard stainless steel dishes you'll be looking at around $10 or less. Another idea to help you feed your dog slowly is by filling a Kong with their food and freezing it for an hour or so, so they have to work the Kong to get the food out. This can keep them moving around a room for at least 20 minutes. Feeding a raw diet will naturally slow down a fast eater, since they have to work a little harder to chew through the meat and bones. Early on, you'll want to invest in some durable and mentally stimulating toys to keep your puppy from chewing and from chewing becoming a bad habit. Some good ideas to keep your dog active and entertained day to day include filled Kongs, treat dispensing balls, hide and slide puddles, snuffle mats or games of hide and seek with your dog's favourite toy or a high value treat. Now I always suggest crate training your canine companion, even if you don't plan on crating them often. It allows them to have a comfortable space of their own. For a good quality and versatile crate for the Great Dane, plan to spend around $220 for a typical black wire crate. Like the collar, you may need to buy a medium sized one until they're bigger and then move them to a full size crate. When you adopt, your Great Dane may be past their puppy stage and already have all of their vaccinations. But picking up a puppy from a shelter or breeder means that you'll need to get a series of vaccinations from your vet. 
For a dog of their size, you can plan to spend around $450 for their first full year of vaccinations. And most vets do actually offer a discount when you purchase their puppy wellness plan. The last, but certainly not least, upfront cost you'll have on bringing a Great Dane puppy into your home is a training package, like a puppy course, which usually sells for around $200. And in it, you'll find detailed lessons so you can train your puppy one-on-one. -on -one. Following a course means that you'll be that much closer to having the perfect canine companion in your home and it'll help you be the calm, consistent leader that they need. Deciding on what to feed your Great Dane isn't something you should take lightly, especially since they can be prone to joint and digestive issues common in large breeds. I always suggest a raw diet, but it can feel overwhelming to do so at first. Deciding what to feed your new Great Dane isn't something you should take lightly, especially since they can be prone to joint and digestive issues common in large breeds. If you decide to feed a grain-free dry food, you'll spend around $150 every month for a high-quality kibble. A raw diet will depend on your location, but on average, plan to spend around $200 a month to keep feeding your Great Dane this superior diet. It's a great idea to have pet insurance and have an emergency fund on hand for medical issues that can come up. The most basic plans for their size start around $50 a month and go up for a more comprehensive coverage. If you work out of the home all day or plan to go on vacation without your Great Dane, you'll need to factor in daycare costs, walkers and potentially boarding facilities. They'll do fine on their own, so a dog walking service may not be necessary unless you're gone for over 8 hours. There are several apps or services that link you to people who provide these services if you don't have any family or friends available. Doggy daycare for your Great Dane will run around $60 a day and a dog walker can start from $45. Overnight boarding can also range between $75 to $100 per night. Of course, what you spend on extras for your canine companions like treats or pet sitters is a personal choice and is dependent on your circumstances and budget. Other than common large breed issues like hip and elbow dysplasia and digestive problems like bloat, the Great Dane is an average keeper for a large breed, though it's hard to compare them to any other breed. You'll find that you need to spend quite a bit more on everything given their size and choices can be limited since they're well out of the average size range. Great Danes are best for very stable canine leaders that can have a good size budget and plenty of wiggle room. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down on the comment section below. And don't forget, if you're new here, to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated Great Dane videos coming here every single week. So, I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Great Dane channel.